Hello. Hello. In this week's video, we need your help. So, we really need your help, but we'll come back to that bit in a second in the video. First of all, we'll give you a quick update to what we've been up to, because I had a video out for two weeks. So, firstly, very exciting, we managed to finally go on our local brewery, we were brewery, beer tour. Yes, we went on a beer hunt and we found it. Three years without having people to visit the brewery. They reopened it for a special night with the first customers there. We're actually first on the list as well. I know it's funny, checked us in. <laughs> Not um, that we're keen or anything. So brilliant, you go all different beers on cast to try. So I was able to try all the beers, even though I've tried them before, but they're very nice. And a hog roast. What more could you ask for? Yes, why else? I mean, you know, who wouldn't buy that for their vegetarian, non-beer drinking wife? <laughs> I was being generous, but they looked after you. They gave they you did. gin. They were really good, very accommodating. Yeah, I had a vegetarian lasagna. It was very nice and all the gin I could drink. So, yeah, really could not fault it. We'll put some footage up now so you can see exactly what we did. but you can see some of the ideas what we got up to basically it was just drinking and eating and chatting it's very nice indeed yeah it's good so that was the beer very important second thing we've been doing well we've obviously been out with molly quite a lot and taking her out for lots of walks and exercise locally we're not been away in the van that much either no no it's uh, always a busy a uh, busy month uh september for us uh work wise and otherwise we've got a lot of uh, family commitments so yeah lots of molly walking that's pretty much it and then finally also got some new pedals for my bike which i'll show you now very quickly they can see very impressive. I think Caroline's well impressed for them. Superstar components, great pedals, flats, if anybody's interested. They're really good. So, let's move on to our dilemma, our question. We really need your help. We have got a week off this year left to use. Potentially October, most likely November, isn't it? Use it? Yeah, I think so. Looking at everything yeah. else that we've got commitment-wise, probably November is going to be the time yeah so we want to know where to go um hopefully if you watch our channel you know us a little bit by now i love everything cold and places to explore outdoors and rough kind of likes everything warm and, and really safe and secure yeah, like. this this going away in november is is giving me major freezing cold anxiety um so we just want a bit of help where have you been at that time of year in this country or abroad or and in europe in, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, and bear in mind obviously we've only got a week so We'd like to see somewhere, not spend, you know, we don't want to spend three days driving somewhere to spend one day and then drive back for three days. Yeah, like a couple, a couple of, at least a couple of yeah. nights everywhere over a week, seven, eight, eight days, whatever it, whatever it works out. So any suggestions you've got, whether in Scotland, uh, whether in Ireland, um, wherever you Spain, really think. Spain, Portugal, can I get there in a week? Where do I go? It's What's bit, the weather like? Bit too far. But yeah, um, Belgium, Holland, Germany, anywhere you think that would be good. If you can give some suggestions of an itinerary for a week, we'd really appreciate it. We've had lots of our own plan, but we can't quite agree at this time of year. Somewhere in other times of year, it's easy to plan, but this time of year in November, we both can't quite agree. So we thought we'd ask for your help on our video. So if you wouldn't mind, please feel free to drop the comments below in the section and give us your ideas and feedback. Yeah, that would be splendid. Thank you in advance. Warm places, warm places, warm places. <laughs> Obviously, you know, anywhere with beer that's cold and like outdoors is great too. Anything else to add? I think that's it, isn't it? Just really your help. You need. Just just your help, yeah. With or without Molly. Yeah, um, if it's Europe, we're not going to take Molly. So if you want to see Molly, it's in the UK. Um, we don't have her passports and stuff for that. But we've had some, over the over the last year or so, we've had some really good suggestions from our from our viewers in the comments. They've given us great places to go and stay. We've always tried to use them and reference them as well and, and plan for future. So hopefully, we're hoping our viewers will be able to give us some really good ideas. Yeah, because camp, not all campsites are open all year round. Oh, yeah, so yeah, that's, like that. that's the sort of the main issue, isn't it? You know, we might yeah. say, oh, we're going to go to such and such a place and then there's no campsites there. So really, yeah, I mean, this is just 
really lazy, isn't it? We could spend hours researching, but then we were like, well, we've got a few, you know, one or two viewers that might be able to help us. So you thanks. You know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed for watching and we'll catch you on next week's video. Thanks very much. Bye.